there was something about the Titanic. It was so very formal. It was so stiff. The atmosphere was stiff. The uh, coziness. Uh, well, you know, the kind of get-together feeling. It didn't exist. I always remember going up on the lift. A little boy said to me, You know, madam, it's quite an honor. I'm only 14 years old. I'm a lift boy. It was a very slight bump. Just a little jar, nothing at all. I went in my room. There was a second light jar, nothing of consequence. But you knew something had happened, and one man said, Look at that. That's an iceberg, and it's a whopper. Because you know, there's one-eighth above the water and seven-eighths below. And this blooming thing's a hell all the way over the top of the ship. Thought nothing of it. We picked up the bits of ice, and most of it was great snowballs. A little while later, a man came to my door. His teeth were chattering. He said, Madam, get up, get out. Do you know, they're making the women and children leave in lifeboats. They say you're coming back for breakfast, you know, these crazy English, they do anything. They make you get up, go off in boats, and go off and come back for breakfast. What do you think of that? But before I went, I locked every window in my three staterooms and closed every trunk. I locked every trunk and took the keys with me. Nineteen keys for 19 trunks. I'd on my evening slippers, diamond buckles. No, not real diamonds, but diamond. And I had a wool cap and two fox furs and a paper-thin broad-tailed coat and no underwear and no stockings, but a pair of velvet slippers and these buckles. And I lost a buckle. And who should I see? Mr. Mock, a miniature painter. And he said, look, there's trouble. I said, so no. Well, he said, you'll have to jump now into the lifeboat. I said, jump? With this thing I've got on? What do you think I am, an acrobat or a monkey or something? I can jump in this thing. What well, he said, you'll have to. My sister's in that lifeboat. Well, I looked at that lifeboat, swinging out on the davits. Oh, possibly, oh, I don't know by measurements, but it was an awful long way. And down below was the sea, 14 stories below. What well, if you jumped and you fell between? No, I never would have left the ship. But a sailor came along, and he said, Say you, you don't want to be saved. Well, I'll save your baby. And he grabbed this pig from under my arm, and he tossed it in the lifeboat. And I turned to this man, Monk, and I said, That does it. But when they threw that pig, I know it was my mother calling me. I don't doubt that they were playing music. Other people heard it. But when people say that music played as the ship went down, that is a ghastly, horrible lie. And then the horrible fear was in my heart, and I think everybody else's, that the dreadful, dreadful suction that had drawn us towards the Titanic would suck us under the Titanic.